The amazing differences are about mental inbreeding. Welcome to this video impulse and today a very special topic. Uh, I think very, very important. When I'm uh, seeing uh, different kinds of companies, organizations, with, which I do just because of my job, because I'm helping them becoming better. So I see quite a lot inside. Um, I see amazing differences and some might be successful despite all kinds of different ways how they think, behave and act. Right. So but the most uh, astonishing fact is that most of the time the people think how they think and believe in things and act is the only way how it works. That's how we do it. And that's how it makes us successful. But then I go sometimes at this on the same day, I go to another company, see it completely different. And also they might be successful and say, okay, but it's completely different. So what is now better or what not? The thing is this, if you are too long with one organization and don't look outside, you have this risk of mental inbreeding. So people believe just what they see all day is just the only truth. It's the only way there is. And uh, probably you know this from own experience and that happens. It just happens if you are just inside this whole uh, this, uh, this, this environment that is never basically changing and thinks this is how it's done here. Then I hear things. This is how it's done here. No, it's just how you define it to be done. Uh, you could change it at any time, but it's not easy. The thing is, um, it uh, has some risks if you are this way because um, you are very vulnerable to outside influences, etc., etc. So it's it's very good to have a broader perspective. And I give you three ideas, three tips, two, three steps that you can take to avoid uh, this mental inbreeding and um, um, uh, leverage the differences that might be possible. The first is you need to be willing. You and your leaders and your, everybody in the organization, at least first the leadership, need to be willing to challenge the status quo and say, okay, no, there are other ways. Even if our way is already great, we are amazingly successful, but still I'm always looking there are better ways. Steve Jobs was famous for saying there must be a better way. No matter how good the solution already was that the, the engineers or whoever presented to him, eh, he was famous for saying, well, it's good, but there must be a better way. Right? And this is very powerful to have this mindset. Say, there are different ways. And why are, are we exploring another one? So it's a willingness. Then number two, challenge the people. This goes also with this quote along. There must be a better way. Challenge them and say, okay, um, challenge yourself and challenge your team and say, okay, um, how can we do that better or different? And sometimes it's not even better, but what other way would there be to deliver something to clients or whatever? I mean, it's the thing as how can we get more people um, when they are traveling, it is by, uh, just not staying in youth hostels or hotels. Is there another way? Yes, there's another way. We rent out private rooms and beds. Even the beginning was just an air mattress somewhere. And that was how the idea came with Airbnb and say, why not? Um, you have so much spare place uh, space in, in apartments. So why not renting that out, right? Um, a taxi with Uber is the same thing, but you don't need to go to these big things. It's this thinking of, um, so, okay, um, there might be a challenge. How can we do that completely different? And number three, provide perspective to yourself and people in your organization. I, I see it too often that, I mean, who is, has worked there for five years has hardly, unless they are in sales and visiting customers, but otherwise they've hardly seen any other organization from the perspective how it else could be done, uh, whatever they are functioning with. Uh, it might be everything. So, I mean, very often you can visit other companies sometimes uh, which provide best practices in some area or the other. You can uh, go to conferences where you learn about this. There are multiple ways to learn about this, but most companies never do this. So perspective, delivering perspective of things, different viewpoints. How can we do that differently? This avoids mental inbreeding. I hope that helps and gives you some ideas. If you like this video, um, please forward it. Also hit the like button. If you have some ideas and agree or disagree, please share in the comments below. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in one of my next videos. Take care.